everyone. In this video, I want to talk about the GL budgets in Dynamic 365 Business Central. And I would like to focus on like the capability of Business Central to manage multiple GL budgets. It's not a way how you can import budgets. Uh, for sure, we can create another video for to get through the import and export of the budgets, but it's not a focus on this video. If we look at the GL budgets I have here, I have two budgets. Let's say my fiscal year starts from February the 1st of every year. So I have this 2021 budget and then in the 2021 budget, I just put one example because for my fiscal year 2021, it, it is from February the 1st, 2021 to January to January 2020. Two, right, January 31st, 2022. So I still have one budget from uh, for 2021 in January here. And then if we look at my next budget, my next budget is my for my fiscal year 2022. It starts from February 1st, 2022 until January 31st, 2023. So I just put one example for the GL account 40100 and to show you how that works. Okay, so um, if we go to our chart of accounts, because some of our clients, they would like to see in the chart of account, they would like to use this uh, account, uh, sorry, balance and then GL account balance slash budget to compare the balance with the budget. So if you look at this chart, then when you uh, look at this GL account 40100, this, this budget is what I entered for my 2021 budget because my fiscal year is from is from the February the 1st 2021 to January 31st 2022 so it's still showing my 2021 budget if you click on the three dot then you can see this filter has been used so if we look at the filter it's using the budget name 2021 and the filter is from January the 1st 2022 right so actually it's still looking at my 20, my previous budget is it's not my 2022 budget yet okay so what we can do with this so if you have multiple budgets like if every year that you have a different budget like if you have a budget for 2020 and 2021 2022 every year you create a new gl budgets then if you, you, you want to use the GL account balance slash budget to make the comparison of the current balance with the budget, it will, if you have a bunch of budgets there, it will always take the first one on your list. So it doesn't matter which year that is for. So if, if your first budget on your GL budgets list is from previous year, then you always see uh, the comparison of current balance with that previous year's budget. So that's a capability of G, uh, Business Central. It, you can have multiple budgets, but if you want to see something which is, uh, at, which is uh, showing the current data, then it's better you consolidate all the budgets in one uh, budget. So I can put my 2022 budget in the, in the same here that I will be able to see it. But if I do this way, I have different budgets for different year and then I will not be able to see my budget for 2022 this 2000 for February. In order to see it, then I have to delete uh, this budget here for 2021. And then if I go back, I just uh, refresh this and then uh, go back to my balance, then see GL account balance slash budget. So now you can see it's using the 2022 budget. So that's what I'm saying. Like I always use the first one on your GL budgets to show up here. Now you can see the budget filter is filtering this 2022 budget, right? So it always use the first one on your GL budgets list. And also uh, some of our clients is ask me if uh, Business Central or Dynamics Nav have the capability to manage like um, comparison for the high budget and low budget. It doesn't have this capability. You can create it. Uh, different GL budgets. Then say this one is a uh, 2021 low, 2020, and this one is 2021 high. Then you put different numbers there, right? And but for the same GL account, you you put a low number, you put a high number. But then when you look at your account schedule for the, if you you have an account schedule to compare your GL budgets with your uh, actual, 
then uh, in that account schedule, then you will see, so let's see, we have some, um, if we do have some, uh, we have to look at a column layout, edit column layout. Let's take a look of the column layout uh, budget analysis. So we have this budget analysis, and I have this actual budget comparison. If you take a look of this one, so you can see for the budget column is using the budget and geo budget entries table, right? And uh, please remember, if you have uh, multiple geo budgets there, and uh, one uh, is 2021 low, one is 2021 high, for the same geo accounts, they, they all create a geo budget entries. I'm on the geo budget entries page and then uh, filter by uh, the budget this 2021 low and 2021 high. And if we take that GL account 41100 as example, you could see for January 2022, uh, there's a one from, imported from Excel and we got a January uh, budget, which is $10,000. And also for January 2022, for this 2021 high budget, then it's also for January, which is the date, January the 1st, 2022. This, this was manually entered in that GL budget. So you could see the amount is 10. So then uh, when you look at in the account schedule, when the account schedule calculate GL budgets for uh, January, then it will be the total of the two. So in this case, you will look at these two entries. It will be $10,010 total in the GL budget entries. So it consolidates um, for the same period for all the GL budgets for the same period for the same GL account into that GL entries in the account schedule. It's not only taking one from the 2021 low budget and take another one from the 2021 high budget. We cannot manage comparison of those two GL budgets. I want to emphasize on this uh, video is like um, we see lots of clients they for different year year for different year they have a different GL budgets entered in Demix Nav or Business Central. But to fully uh, use the capability of the auto box function, like uh, to use this uh, GL account balance slash budget, or to use the account schedule then it's better to consolidate all the budget in one. Then uh, you will have all the, all the accurate number there. Okay, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time. Thank you for watching this Archer Point video. Stay in the know with the latest on Microsoft Dynamics by subscribing to our channel. You can also learn more from our blog at archerpoint.com or email info at archerpoint.com to contact us. See you in the next video.